So according to the previous example, we found that there was some difference among the uh, three groups. We just didn't know where the, the difference was. There could be three differences, you know, all these pair could be different or there could be only one difference. Maybe, you know, these two groups could be different and or the, these two could be different or these two could be different or these two could be different. We just didn't know where. That's why uh, we uh, we wanted to do a post ad hoc test. By the way, when you use a, a SAS or S, no, not SAS, SPSS, the output you get for some square degree freedom uh, between group uh, within group variances and uh, F statistics, you know, you get this table. This is the output table, source table looks like, and this is actually what you get. You get these numbers values here. But because within group variance, within group variance, you can calculate, you know, using uh, sum of square between between sum of square between between group sum of square and between group degree freedom. You know, also you can calculate this using these two numbers, and f using these two numbers, and the total just the total of these numbers. So, if we get all uh, these num values. Sum of square between, between group sum of squares between group that do your freedom within group sum of square and within group do your freedom we can all get these numbers by calcula simple calculations okay so we rejected the null hypothesis hypothesis at p is less than 0.05 you know, effect size and before going into where the difference was, let's get the effect size. Effect size for independent measures ANOVA is denoted by R2, R square, I mean, R square. And how you do that is sum of square between divided by sum of square total. It kind of makes sense though. Sum of square between and sum of square total. And that's how you do it. And the result is point zero point four seven. What it means is that the forty percent of variability in the num number of math problems works correctly is explained by the room temperature. So forty seven percent would be the result of the room temperature. That's what it means. You know, that's what effect size is, right? So forty seven percent could be a due to the room temperature. In other words, forty percent of the variability in the number of math problems worked correctly is explained by the room temperature. When effect size, you know, how you uh actually I don't I don't recall. This is given. This is given. Ooh. What what does it mean by median effect? Uh oh, I can't I can't tell. Anyway, I'm gonna have to ask a question later. So in this example, we got 0.47, which is obviously larger than 0.25. So it's a large effect. Result of the independent measure ANOVA indicate that there's an effect of room temperature on number of math problems students can solve correctly. F with the degree of freedom to on uh, 120 and F equals to is equals equal to 53 with P less than uh, 0.05 and uh, effect size R square equals is equal to 0.47. Going back to um, my initial question, you know which pairs of means differ. That could be all these, you know, possibilities, and we don't know which is correct, which is a case. To determine which pairs of means differ, we need to do a post hoc test. Uh, it allows us uh, pairwise mean comparisons, and what we're gonna do is uh, 
two keys honesty significant difference test HSD test two keys honesty significant different test there are different other 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 tests you can you can you can you can perform but this is the one we we used in this class so uh, we're gonna use this uh, HSD test and figure out which pairs of means are gonna be different or or different to determine that uh, to get the HSD to do a HSD test we have to go through these process determine the Q value calculate the uh, HSD determine which mean difference you you know I want to evaluate and compare the mean difference to the HSD so basically we get mean differences you know and what will we see so basically we have three mean differences uh, mean difference between these two, mean difference between the two, and mean difference between these two. And we only O3 using the HSD test. As you can see from this formula, the value, the number we're getting uh, from this formula is okay, this is a uh, within, within group um, variance. And this n is a number of the, the scores in one group. So this is how you get the HSD uh, value. So you need to know Q for you know, value Q, and uh, we we know this within group uh, variance, and we know this. We just I just said it's gonna be. You pick one group and use that number. And so, what what's a Q? Okay, how how you get Q is this is how you do. This is a Q table, and this is a uh, dream freedom within. And this is a number of groups. It's not dream freedom. So you don't do a you know number of group minus one in this in this case. So it's just number of groups. So in this example, it's three. So two, three, and one twenty is going to be this three point three six. Notice you don't have zero, uh, one, on, you don't have one here. Of course, if you have just one group, it doesn't make sense. So yeah, you have, you you two you start from two. Okay, now you do this calculation and. Uh, n is the number of scores in each treatment. In our case, it's 41. So n is for n is 41. Oh, you know it's not the same example we're using anymore. We're using a slightly different example in this case. I skipped it, so let's go back and uh, look at the uh, problem setup. This is a setup. Uh, same room temperatures, but different uh, group sizes. Instead of five, we're using 41, 41, 41. Okay, so things are going to be a little bit different, but just uh, degree freedom and the population size that's going to be affected. So to calculate the uh, HSD, so it's 0 0.45. So we use this value HSD, you know, and this is like a standardized, you know, kind of standard standardized uh, you know difference in in, in the group uh, in the populations and if it was larger than this that means difference is statistically significant for example okay difference between uh, mean mean one and mean two is 1.68 which is larger than the standardized kind of I don't know if the standardized is a correct verbiage to use but in my understanding it's a standardized you know uh, uh, the difference or threshold something like that okay this is your, so HSD honest took it honest is score 
that's 0 0.4445 so this is larger so the distance is gonna, means it's significant 1 and 2 are significantly different okay about 2 and 3 it's 1.66 so it's also significantly different how about 1 and 3 it's 0 0.02 the difference is 0 0.02 which is smaller than 0 0.45, so well, you have to say it's not, it's not significant. So my postdoc test indicate that the mean of 50 degree group is significantly different from the mean of the 70 degrees group, you know, group one and group two. And also, the mean of 70 degree group is significantly different from the mean of 90 degree group. So, it's group 2 and group 3 are significantly different. And that mean of 50 degree group is not significantly different from the mean of the 90 degree group. Group 1 and group 9 are not significantly different. Hmm. That's what it says. You know, it can kind of tell from the. It kind of confirms so original first impression right okay so next video we're gonna go in talk about you know how you get this why why this is why why you you could use this and what is this value coming from what is formula coming from you know I really want to understand that to get a better understanding of you know, this whole 